Hi, this is Andy from wholesale-help.com and I've got a video review for you today. It's something I've been meaning to do for quite some time, I just haven't found the time to do it. So what I want to talk to you about is the video camera that I use to shoot most of the videos here in the office and when I'm out and about. It's not incidentally the video camera that I'm using right now. Um, I'm using my, uh, my cell phone camera from my HTC design, which is a few years old now. It's not the best video quality, so I apologize for that, nor is the internal mic. But I'm going to uh, shout at the camera and hopefully it won't, be, uh, it won't be too bad. What I normally use and what I've been using for a little while now is a Kodak ZI8. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see that there. It's a flip style camera. It's a point and shoot, very easy, full HD camera. Um, it's something that works very well for, for my purposes. It's uh, not too expensive. It's small. It's about the size of a Blackberry, I would say. It's relatively slim. Uh, it will just fit in your pocket. You can grab it, and it's got everything you need uh, to get quite reasonable results. Now, why did I choose this over the, um, the Flip HD Ultra? There's a few things that this has that the Flip does not. Firstly, uh, the Flip has 8 gig of internal um, memory, uh, where this has a uh, expansion uh, a slot for an SD card. So basically you can put up to any amount of uh, storage in there. I've got a 16 gig card in there at the moment, and that's going to be as much as I will need. That will give me plenty of room to, to make quite a lot of HD uh, recordings. Also, which I think is absolutely crucial, and uh, uh, an absolute deal breaker for the flip for me was the fact that it does not have an external mic input. There you have uh, eight and a half mil jack for an external mic, and that makes a big difference, as you will probably be able to tell right now from the internal uh, microphone on the uh, uh, on the cell phone. Uh, they're not the best. I, I'm kind of shouting right now, and hopefully you'll be able to hear uh, um, what I'm saying at a reasonable quality. But if we were outside and I wanted to put this on a tripod and I was a couple of meters away to get a nice background, the mic would just not be up to the job that's in, inside the, uh, uh, it's actually inside the, the camera. They're, they're just not cut out for it. You'd get wind noise, background traffic noise, uh, it would be terrible. So um, the fact that you can, uh, you can put your own mic in here is invaluable. You get some very good 8.5mm uh, uh, jack uh, microphones these days. You can even probably put a, a much more expensive mic on there if you wanted to and probably get a reducer adapter to put it into 8.5mm if you wanted to. Uh, so you could actually have with the uh, with the 1080p HD um, uh, footage and really decent um, uh, audio quality you've actually got quite a nice setup there. So these are very good cameras uh, for what they do. I like the fact that it's small, I like the fact that it starts up in a couple of seconds, you just hold the button down you're ready to shoot straight away. Uh, you can choose them 1080p. What have we got there? 1080. So if you're doing um, if you're doing a lot of uh, fast action footage for sports or something like that, 60 frames per second will keep that lovely and sharp. There won't be any blurring or tracking. It would look fantastic. Uh, you can also choose standard 720p, which will be um, uh, that will be 30 frames per second. Uh, double VG, WVGA, which nobody uses anymore. And you can also just take still uh, camera images as well, which is very handy. So that is um, that is perfect for my needs. On the switch here, it's pretty basic, but you can switch over to um, from landscape to macro mode to, to to vary the focus. So you can focus in on the foreground if you want to actually sort of focus something near to you. Otherwise, we'll go on landscape and it will just focus on the broad, uh, broader picture. Uh, I think it looks nice. It's got this metallic -y to it. You probably won't see it on the camera there, but it's got this um, uh, uh, metallic finish to it. This is uh, a raspberry color it came in. It comes in black anyway, uh, whatever you want. I'm not really fussed about the color, but it looks quite nice. Um, I've already said it's got the uh, tripod attachment as well. Uh, so it's got everything you need. Um, the price is reasonable in the UK. I think it's about 150 pounds, 150, 160 pounds. Very reasonable price. Uh, and in the in the US, uh, probably uh, a similar sort of uh, uh, money, uh, obviously just with the uh, dollar equivalent. I'm not going to work it out because uh, it will probably change by the time. So 
someone reads this, uh, someone watches this in three months' time, it's not worth it. But what I'll, I, will, I will do is I'll put some links uh, in the description box, um, some Amazon links, so you can go over and, uh, and check it out on Amazon. Um, uh, that's where I got mine, and um, generally where you get the best deal. So you can click through and take a look at the spec there, and you can pick one up if you need to. Um, I think that's pretty much covered everything I wanted to say about it. Yeah, I think it's, you know, if you're looking for a good quality entry level camera that you can just take wherever you need and you can expand into um, something which actually puts out very good quality, respectable images, you can put nice audio on it, uh, I think you can't go wrong uh, with this particular uh, camera. Uh, as I say, that you know, this, this fact that you, you've got the, uh, uh, it's got the USB uh, adapter with it. It's just fantastic. You know, you haven't got to take a little bag with the cables and the adapter and everything you need. You know, you can literally just put it in your pocket and run. If you think you might see something you want to record later on in the day, you know, at short notice, grab the camera, take it with you. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It's not taking up that much room. You know, it's just something that's handy to have with you all the time that you're going to get much better quality out of compared to your phone um, or something like that. So. Uh, that's my uh, recommendation. In in this category, in this class, you cannot get a better camera. It's as simple as that. This is uh, this is the one to go for. The Kodak ZI8. Uh, link in the description box for you to go and check out the spec on Amazon. I think that's it. If you've got any questions about it, um, uh, let me know. Uh, if you want to look at some of my other videos, you'll see the quality of the camera in the, in the other video. Is I would say the majority of the face to camera. Um, uh, videos will be uh, from the, the ZI8. I've also uh, bought an external mic, uh, which um, I don't know if here it's over there somewhere. I'll do a separate review on the the external mic because I think that's a that's a pretty good mic and it's very good value as well. So I'll talk about that in another video. But um, hopefully this has been some use to you. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.